guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Collects. Here's Truly here to entertain you with some paint pouring. <laughs> I never know what to say at the beginning, so I just make stuff up. <laughs> Today I'm going to do um, a couple little paintings, uh, some practice pieces first, just to get the order right. Um, I am inspired by two things today. One is I got a six pack of Arteza um, premium like metallic paints for Christmas. Um, and I have used these colors before in like those little sample sizes. So now I got the big ones. Um, and I wanted to try those out. And, and when I used them before the little samples, I had made this and on the I don't know if you're going to be able to see the shimmer of these these hang back there on my wall and I know a lot of times because of the glare from my recessed lighting you can't really see them so I thought I'd show you one up close I'm going to try and do two of these today I have these really super nice eight inch cradle panels that um I just had to wait the jet the um kills wood primer has just dried uh and so i'll do two practice pieces and then we'll do two on these so four paintings hopefully in not too long of a video let me get you going okay uh i already had a fail and then i realized uh it was more a fail failure of information i want to test out the colors i have and i thought i better explain myself so the three i'm just going to plop them on here the three orteza colors are they're not pastel but they're very um soft and then i have a cobalt turquoise that's decidedly much brighter so i'm kind of worried about that color so that's one reason i want to test and then i have um, also that it's kind of in between hues is this shade this is iridescent copper light it's actually opaque it's golden series seven like this is the good stuff y'all like the really good stuff um very expensive and so i hoard it and just use it very sparingly um so that's my bridge between these other colors and the other thing i'm testing out today is uh, my cell activator color is this shade. This is Amsterdam's Permanent Violet Dark. It is transparent. So normally when you use the cell activator color for the bloom technique, um, it's opaque and I'm trying out a transparent color. So I kind of want to see how this behaves and how this behaves with these colors. Uh, and jewelry is kind of out on me, out with me on this papaya. This is pearl papaya orange. I'm worried that it's a little pale. I came very, very close to putting a couple drops of uh, Paroli Orange from Golden or Pyro, I call it Paroli, in here to brighten it up. And then I'm like, then you're gonna have to brighten that one up and brighten that one up. So I'm gonna leave it alone. So there, now you know the method to my madness or why I'm doing what I'm doing. I think that's always important. Uh, I don't have painty juju today, y'all, because I just had another fail that I just cut from the video. I'm ha it's like, uh, it's my hair dryer work. It's like I'm not very good with the hair dryer today. I think I wanted the light. You did, you wanted the light. I'm gonna change up the order for a second. I'm just playing now. Okay, well. All right, let's see if I do a better job with the cell activator or the blowout. the 
did right there. I got a big divot here. I'm just gonna let it sit and come back in a couple minutes. All right, looking good. Let's spin this out. Hold on. I just wanted that one little part off. <gasps> uh, now we're cooking, y'all. Ta-da! Okay, I think maybe thinning out my cell activator helped. Um, and the other thing it did was... Now, this is personal preference. Sometimes I like it when colors bleed i think it's beautiful and right here um, i have a bleed of that permanent violet with the copper and it is spectacular uh it's, i would have liked a little more negative space but uh beggars can't be choosers that's a keeper right there um, there wasn't that much paint on it i don't have to worry about the sides because it's only going to be in the top and it's going to go into a really nice maple frame. So this is going to be really pretty, I think. Um, no, I'm all excited. Let me uh, move him and grab the other guy. I don't have painty juju today, y'all. Because I just had another fail. That I just cut from the video. I'm ha It's like, uh, it's my hair dryer work. It's like I'm not very good with the hair dryer today. Oh, I think I wanted the light. I did, you wanted the light. I'll change up the order for a second. I'm just playing now. Let's see if I do a better job with the cell activator or the blowout. did right there I got a big divot here I'm just gonna let it sit and come back in a couple minutes all right it looks fairly collected to me I don't like whatever weird thing I did with the hair dryer right there um, I think most of it will fly off let's give this a baby spin see what happens It's rather interesting. I still have bare canvas right here. Huh. Yeah, for Pete's sakes, go ahead off. I don't need it to go down the sides because they're taped, but I need coverage right there. I kind of like it. I'm going to give one more spin. I need to get whatever this blob is over here. And then this little line right here, I'd like to get rid of that too. 
Um, I like this with the colors. Um, and I do see the olive green a bit. And I don't mind this being blank. I think that looks cool. Hold on. Oh, that was wimpy. Let me spin it like a girl. There we go. Get some muscle into it. Did that do it? Almost. That should have. Oh, if it went, yep. Because it bugged me. Let me stare at this now. Cells are big. Soft and subtle colors. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. I worked for these today, y'all. I worked for them. Uh, tons of fails. Failing left and right. But I got two. One is more color than the other one. They are not meant to be um, a diptych. As I said, I will be selling them separately. So, uh, yeah. Let me put it next to its uh, sister and uh, get you guys down for a close-up. Okay, guys, here's the close-up. I'm going to call these uh, the bold and the beautiful. <laughs> like a soap opera. So this is the bold one because it's more colorful. And I hope they convey. They're already not because this is the uh, turquoise. There it goes. It was showing up blue for a second. I really, really love the... Uh, bleeding of the cell activator right there. That purple into the copper is super pretty in real life. I don't think it's showing up on camera. I think that's the orientation I like too, right there. So there's that one. I do like that I got the greens to show up, the olive green, and I can't remember if I put pistachio in this one or not. So there's that one. And then, so that was the bold and this is the beautiful. With the um, negative space here, the, with, with soft, soft colors, I really, really like that a lot. Um, more white cells, they don't bother me though. I kind of like them. And actually, a lot of them aren't. They're just very, so you can see the color in them. Um, it just doesn't show up that well on camera. Not going to show you the other two uh, starter ones because they're getting scraped. <laughs> That's it. Nah, let me flip around. Good grief, y'all. The struggle was real today. Really was. Um, but I'm very, very happy with both of these. And um, I'm really quite pleased with the, uh, the cell activator using a transparent color, breaking a rule, so to speak. I'm like, who says? Somebody said, and everyone's been doing it. I'm like, nah, I really like this color. So... Let's try it. You're not going to know that you try. It's art. Do whatever the hell you want. That's, that's Karen's message to you. Do whatever it is that makes you happy or you want to try. And if you feel inspired by something and you're not supposed to, you know, I don't know, use glue or whatever, screw it. Do what you want. What makes you happy. That's what I do. Works for me. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoy. That was my little pep talk for the day. And uh, take care. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Y'all take care. Peace out. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results um, of these two pieces. Another lesson learned um, in how much paint you leave on the substrates. Uh, because these were, you know, done at the same time and put under uh, my tarp to dry. Uh, together the first one here cracked all to hell because too much paint on the substrate even with the GAC 800 you know GAC will help tremendously but it'll still crack if there's too much paint I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix this one I'm really bummed out about it so it'll just sit in my to work on later pile um, and I'll see if I can fix it um, and fill in those cracks and then resin it. I was really happy because it's, you know, really nice deep frame cradle uh, wood board. Um, the, you know, like my edges came out great. And yeah, bummed out about that. And here's what happens when you don't have too much paint. It turns out 
perfectly and dries flawlessly. Now this one I did go back in after the fact. I felt like it needed a little more color. So I painted some of the cells in, um, just a little bit, mostly right there, just to give it a, um, a little more pop of color. I think I like it like this, maybe. Yeah, super pretty. It's just waiting to be resined. And then it will go into a floater frame like that. Now, oh, look how pretty that is. So yeah, super happy with at least one of them. Uh, so yeah, be mindful of how much paint you leave on your substrate. That's it for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.